all beautiful people of all walks around the earth, all species who tuned into this video, our second episode in the Minecraft Survival Project series, whatever you want to call it, called Surviving in the Manasan. And guys, I did a lot of work. All I mean, depends on what you call a lot. In my opinion, I, I really did do a lot off camera compared to the last episode. And without further ado, I'd like to show it to you guys. So, pfft, this is what happened. The house looks like a little tiki now. It looks like one of those bars, beer serving tikis and special drinks that you find in like Hawaii. And the guys in like inside serving you pina coladas and drinks of that uh, essence. But I added a, sp a roof that makes it look like a little temple and these standoffs just to make it more appealing to the eye. I think if I'm going to make somewhere my home I'd rather make it look better than just the standard house so here's what it looks like I, th I think it looks brilliant I mean I, I don't know if what you guys think but if there's anything more I can do to the house to even make it look better for you guys to look at in general don't hesitate to leave that in the comments below I always look at my comments and uh, and I'll respond to you if uh, there needs to be but I'll definitely respond even if you say hi so but anyway episode 2 guys we need to start farming and I know you've already seen it because I've looked at it a few times while I'm talking about the house but here is where our farm is going to begin I've already planted a little bit of uh, wheat from the seeds I had and uh, it's growing pretty fast like these two and the one over there the, the funny thing is that they really grow out of proportion like one side will grow faster than the other even if I planted these first or these first only like some other random part of the whole seeding process will go faster like over here we have these two young Jedi's racing against time trying to grow to the fastest but um yeah so here's a little farm what I'm going to do is definitely surround this with a fence and a gate just to make sure that no animals get in here and destroy it which is probably the best idea I had so far um but I do need a bucket of water to be able to um, uh, to move the the water from our infinite water source down here to uh, our farming area. Um, so I did find iron, as you can see, and I placed it into the uh, the furnace. And I found iron digging into that tunnel down there that I showed you guys last episode. And uh, I found a few pieces, or well, ten pieces to be exact. And I'm gonna use three of these to make a bucket and the rest to make armor because we're gonna need armor to protect ourselves against hostile creatures that so far haven't spawned in yet and it's becoming nighttime already the, the day has gone by pretty pretty fast so yeah I'm gonna take these four iron pieces and to make a bucket you need uh, iron and you're gonna put it in a V shape and there you go, a bucket for you to use. And I'm going to put the rest of this iron just in case if I die, uh, I can be able to still come back to my house and see my iron there. Alright, so here we go. Placing the water. This is going to take a little while, so bear with me. I'm going to try and be as fast as I can. Now the reason why I'm putting it like all over the... Not, I'm not like putting in random points is because I want it to be even. I don't want the water to be running everywhere, so that's why I'm placing it to make it an even flow of water all around. I'll also put some torches around here just to, you know, again, ensure that no hostile creatures show up to destroy it. And, um, so here it is. Our farm is turning up pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. I couldn't even pick up the water there. And again, I don't, I don't want to have water running everywhere because if I have to come inside of the land to, to, to fix some things, it's going to make it harder for me to move around. So I feel like it's better if I uh, made the water as even as possible. I don't know why that hole over there stayed over there. Because I'm pretty sure this is an infinite water source because I've used it a little bit before. No, I haven't. I'm I'm lying right now. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it went away. So yeah, uh, this is pretty much a uh, never-ending water source, infinite. I can use it for how many times I would like it to use. There's a, there's a different way you can also make an infinite water source. 
in, if you need one I've seen it on YouTube like I said before I, I do do my research before doing anything or saying anything um, but there's a way that you can use the water around you and place it in a specific way under a tree to make to make it um whoa no 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 oh bloody hell my get back oh whoa okay I spoke too soon and the creepers and monsters are here to haunt me and uh, two creepers exploded and these guys are not dying and oh come on I knew I should have gone to bed early as soon as I killed these guys uh, I gotta run away and get my sword out uh oh I can hear more picked up my sugar canes alright off to bed off to bed off to bed close the doors off to bed oh, oh my goodness oh you don't know how nervous I am there's still a, there's still one out there I hear it where are you where are you oh stupid creeper if it was any closer to my house and or my farm I oh, hear you are you What do you want? No, back away from my farm. I don't want you anywhere near my farm. Ah, oh, way to begin the episode, right? Always trying to spice things up <laughs> with chim chomped, even if it means almost getting killed by a creeper near your very own house. So, new rule, guys. As soon as night falls, we are going to sleep. I don't know what. I don't care what I'm doing, when I'm doing it. When night falls comes, I am going to sleep because that was way too close for comfort. Cause I I heard it to the last second when it was about to explode, and if I had my sword out, I would have you know fought it, but I didn't. And it's gonna take a lot more than the amount of dirt I have with me here to patch this land up. But, wow, that was way too close. Like, I, they don't show up at all for, like, the past, you know, episodes or two that I've been recording. And then when when they show up, they come into, like, a whole gang of them. So, it, just to make it harder for me to, to fight them off. Which sucks. But next time, I'm, I, that's why I want to build armor as soon as I can. Because, just to ensure that I don't die if anything like this ever happens because that was way too close and look at the herd of sheep over there you guys better stay back because oh they did destroy my land my farm damn it alright I mean, at least it wasn't that bad so alright so obviously I jinxed my stuff so I'm just gonna go ahead and build fences I'm gonna need a lot of sticks to build my fence just to keep these suckers away from my my land and my farm cause I don't wanna have to keep planting and replanting things so there's our fence actually what I should have done is place them all in at once uh, actually just leave that there and made more fences so it will be easier for me to instead of just going back and forth creating more and more sticks okay so now what I'm gonna go do is put this fencing around around the farm I'll live this is the gate over there You know, run around the house. It's no biggie. It's just a, a short jog. Just so I can protect my farm. Because I don't want anything happening to it. I mean, we will expand on it in the future. But for now, just to ensure that nothing happens.
to my farm I am going to put a fence around it uh, if I could if I could have gotten through there uh, it doesn't even matter let me make my gate and I already had freaking <laughs> um, uh, wooden blocks I didn't even need to go and get more but it, it doesn't matter so to make a gate you do this you put four pieces of sticks one two on each side and then two blocks wooden blocks in the middle and then there you go you have your <coughs> your gate and then boom our farm is now protected it's not strong protection at all whatsoever and what I was thinking about doing is placing another door in here so it makes it easier for me to access it if I just to which is actually what I'm going to do sorry bed I'm going to move you over in a sec I should actually expand the house a little a little ways down so it's easier for me to so I have more space that that's the whole that's the main reason why I'm doing this to have more space so the house the bed will lay right here in the little corner right so I can do this where's my pick my uh, axe uh oh gotta be careful I don't destroy anything don't want to destroy anything and put a door right there. Um, where's my glass? Ah, oh, keep messing up. I'm still a little bit surprised that that happened. Will Will it actually stick? The door? Will it actually stick? Cause there's there's glass on top. I, I'm not even gonna bother. I'm just gonna put my door there. Excuse that. I, excuse me that I keep clearing my throat. I'm a lit. I'm. A, I'm I think I'm getting a little bit sick. Wait. Actually, let's see if what happens. Will the door break? No, it didn't. So we can do this. Yes. Why did I even question it? I did it over here. Ah, oh, I'm so clumsy. So I'm such a klutz. But yeah. So now we have a small door and access. This will always remain open because. It's not as dangerous leaving this part because the whole entire farm is protected. So I have two access ways. I have a direct access route to the farm, to this door, and another one, just the general entrance over there. It's so cool. So this is our farm, guys. Um, episode 2 was building our farm and also fending that farm away from monsters, creepers, zombies, and everything in between from destroying it. I mean, they did manage to blow away a few patches of wheat but that's not gonna be a big deal um, but I think it, it looks it looks marvelous if I do I which I might do I might expand the farm a little bit um, maybe off camera or maybe on camera next episode but we'll see and then the next ep next episode we can start creating our mine tunnel and going underground to find diamonds and iron and all that good stuff so Stay tuned, guys. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of the Minecraft survival series, Surviving in a Manasan. Um, please stay tuned for more. If you have any suggestions or any comments or anything whatsoever, you can go ahead and post it in the comments below. That is your space to write anything you want. Um, if you enjoyed it, please, please, please like and share. And if you're feeling extra generous, follow me on Twitter and subscribe so you always know when I post videos and when I am going live with videos or if there's any changes to my channel and all sorts of good news relating to chimp chomp material follow me and subscribe so you always be the first to know when new content is up and when new news is up for the channel so um other than that i hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time